I really have felt like, as a wrestling fan over the years, one of the things that I've watched is just how much the bar has truly dropped for what a world champion should be. What they work like, how they talk, the whole package. The, when I look at professional wrestling and I say, I feel like fan standards have decreased precipitously over the years, because they have. When I look at how much wrestling has deviated, in my opinion, from when it was the best of times to where it is now, I then look at the world championship picture and it doesn't really matter the company and I see some of the people that get into that spot, whether it's they actually have the world title or they're wrestling for the world title. And I say, oh my God, this is bad. Oh my God, this is horrible. Like over the years, whether it's Jinder Mahal or whether it's <laughs> fuck Dolph Ziggler or Dolph Wagger. Like, could you imagine saying to yourself that any of those guys was really, truly worth a world championship reign? And if you say, well, yeah, because of this and because of that, then I come back and say, well, why wasn't Shelton Benjamin ever a world champion? Ooh, he couldn't really talk on the mic. I'm sorry, how many of the fucking champions do we have today that can't fucking talk on the mic? Just saying. A lot of those other guys, though, weren't afflicted by Shelton Benjamin's pigment disorder. And you say, what do you mean pigment disorder? It's the WWE. Shelton Benjamin is a black man. And not a light-skinned black man, like a full-on dark black man. Like, that does not play well in that company at the top. I don't give a fuck what anybody tries to say. Mark Henry B. Dam, like, he's the exception that kind of proves the rule. Him and Booker T, right? Um, so... At least when I look at Gunther, I could kind of take him seriously. Because you got so many guys that are wrestling at the top that frankly aren't much bigger than me. And me being like 5'10 and a half, 5'11, whatever the hell it is, and a little north, more north of 200 pounds, the 200 pound line that I would like to admit, need to get my dumb ass into shape. The point I'm getting at is, you know, when you look at me, a lot of these guys wrestling in the main event, wrestling for world titles in major companies like WWE, AEW, fundamentally, they don't physically look much different from me. And when you combine that with a lack of charisma, a lack of microphone skills, a lack of compelling, interesting storytelling ability and characters, like all that shit that should really matter in wrestling, it just makes it really hard to suspend your disbelief. It makes it hard to really get emotionally invested. So at least when I look at Gunther, who used to be Walter, who I used to call tapioca tits, but he actually started to say, you know what, I gotta take care of myself better and like my, my body is my mechanism to make my career, so let me take care of it better. He did to his credit. Like I can look at him and say, at least he looks legit, right? At least he looks legit. But we get to this place of not everybody needs to be a damn world champion. Not everybody is world championship material. And I know there are a lot of people that think that Gunther is world championship material. To which I say, humbug your ass! I don't know about any of you, but when I look at a guy being a world champion, a face of the company, I want him to be, oh, I don't know, not fucking vanilla. Not boring as shit. And I don't give a fuck how physical Gunther is in his matches. He is fucking boring as shit. All the time and years that he surely invested in working on his fucking chops and technical moves and everything else, he should have spent on goddamn acting classes and on promo school. There is no charisma there. And even when you talk about presence, like yes, big guy physically looks more like a traditional main event guy, but somehow doesn't 
feel like a traditional main event guy. And maybe some of that is due to the circumstances in the company that he's in. I get that, right? That could be a part of it. I fully acknowledge it. But humbug to this fucking thing of, I'm supposed to believe that he's some type of like monster, some type of giant, because often when I watch him, I feel like he's not working to his size or bigger than his size. He is working down to his opponent's size. So he can't fucking talk. He has no goddamn charisma. He doesn't, to me, work typically the type of match I would expect for a guy of that size to work. So no. Like, what is so goddamn special about Gunther? As to me, he's a perfect example of, okay, you think he could really go into the go in the ring. And then what else? He can do moves. He can do submissions. Okay, and what else? Certainly, the WWE has a history of guys that weren't very great on the stick that were world champions. But as much as I didn't like Bret Hart back in the day until 1997, he became the whiny, pissy face of Team Canada. And I'm like, I fucking believe that. He's a crybaby and I fucking know it and I love it. And he started burying shit on the mic. I'm like, sign me up for that shit. But you know what Bret Hart could do? He was a phenomenal storyteller in the ring. He could make you believe he made his shit look crisp and fluid and legit. So as much as I like to talk about, you put an S in front of him, man, you got my exact thoughts on Bret Hart. The reality is, is that Bret Hart compared to 99% of the industry today, he does laps around them. He does circles around them. He makes them look like a fucking joke. Perhaps an unfair comparison for a guy like Gunther, but again, a world champion to me should be like the biggest stars, the best of the best. These are the guys that can talk you into the fucking arena. These are the guys that make you stop whatever the fuck you're doing and saying, I got to watch that. Like back in the day, a Hogan, a Savage, a Warrior. In the late 90s, early 2000s, the guys like Austin, Rock, and down a level, you go take her. Like, you pause what the fuck you're doing when you see them on the TV. Those are world championship material type of guys. But Gunther isn't that type of dude. And I don't care how long you have him run with the Intercontinental Championship. If anything, you've gotten this long with him being a mid-card champion. To me, that tells you that that's the right level for him. He belongs there. Like, even when you try to picture who he would feud against in the current WWE, him against Roman Reigns in a full feud feels fucking odd. Seth Rollins? Ugh. Like, seriously, go through the different names. Cody Rhodes? CM Punk? Randy Orton? Ugh. If a guy's going to be a world champion, he's got to be able to work with others and help draw some eyeballs. I don't see how fucking Gunther does that. I don't even know that I see Gunther as the type of guy that works with the guy that draws the money. No. I think of him as a solid hand that you have somewhere smack dab in the middle of the card that brings a different style of wrestling that gives you some balance that you can put other people with either when they're coming down from the top, they need somebody to work with, there's somebody they're trying to elevate to that next level. But Gunther is a world champion? Fuck that. Again, just because somebody's been around a while, just because you like the fact of how they can wrestle, that alone does not make them world championship material. I'm sorry. And if somebody like a Gunther doesn't like that, then grow a fucking personality, take some acting classes, Learn how to cut a goddamn promo. Then we can talk. But we've lowered the bar way too much on who could be a world champion. And I realize in part that's because the talent's not that great in the business and a lot of degrees it absolutely isn't, right? But damn it, that doesn't mean that the standards have to completely go the fuck away. Now there are much worse choices for world champion than Gunther. I will totally concede that point. 
Like, him being a world champion would not be the thing that would make me rage above, above all else. But he's the type of guy that I can see people now talking about he needs to be a world champion. And I just think that shit's crazy. Humbug that shit! Humbug your ass! He's just fine where the fuck he is in the mid-card. That's where the hell he belongs.